sorry, next to the air conditioner. So, I found a wheel that I want to put on my front gate, and there's a weld in the way, so I gotta run an extension cord, get the grinder, and grind at least one of the welds away, so I could, I'll just, I'll just show you, it'll be easy, I'll just show you. So, of course, there's a lot of weeds. Um, the wheel is going to sit, here's the whole wheel, there's, the gate is going to sit into here. Um, a bolt goes underneath the gate, then a bolt goes above it. Um, now, if I set this to where it actually needs to be, to where it's below the gate, I believe we need to just grind out this one weld. Um, I think so. And if I need to, I could put some metal strap just because I don't have a welder to weld right here. Um, so I can secure that. I shouldn't need to grind this one out. I'm going to try and get away with just doing the bottom one and see how it fits. Um, I'm just assuming with the how it's lining up right now that I just need to get rid of that bottom one. So I'm going to get the grinder, get the extension cord ran, and uh, we'll try and get this wheel put on here. So I have some glasses, I have a grinder, um, no gloves. I'm not a big fan with gloves, uh, especially when you're like cutting or using a grinder. Um, you know, sometimes when you're using them, you don't feel the air of like the wheel getting close. And I mean, it it's, could go either way. I mean, it could protect you, but it just, I've been, I've not used them and then felt the wind of something getting close and I can stop and just kind of go do my own thing, uh, get away from what I was doing. Um, with the gloves, you're not gonna feel that and it could potentially just rip your finger off. Um, again, I mean, it could protect. I don't normally use gloves if I can help it when I'm cutting and grinding, things like that. Um, they are good to have, but not in this particular instance. I'm not a huge fan, so we're, uh, we're gonna try and get this all ground off. So this is just a quick fitment, kind of what I thought. Bolts can go underneath here, one bolt can go up here, and it should pinch it to this pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts through and then tighten them up and then I'll show you guys when I'm all done. So my ditch is pretty full. But wheel works pretty good might work better if it was like a uh, like a big inflated tire um, but I'm pretty happy with it tightens down with half inch nuts and then the bolts on the big catch seat on the side has the square inset um, so that holds it in place but just a half inch uh, do it by hand it Opens pretty nice. Well, I'm pretty happy with it. Quick little install, I guess you could say. Um, I really was wanting one of these, and I just happened to come across it at Tractor Supply one day. Super easy. I think it was like 20 bucks, 15 bucks. Um, and it goes with one of their automatic gate opening systems, which that may be a future install, but I'm not sure as of this point. But yeah, so I like it. I'll try it out for a while and I'll tell you which is what I think of the wheel and then if we eventually do the automatic gate system I'll fill you guys in then but I think that's it I'll see you guys next time